Hey guys, it's Kasha with the Aussie Real Estate team at Keller Williams Realty in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Can you believe it? We're in week six of this quarantine. I never ever imagined that something like this, I'm sure just like you, could sweep across the world and across our country and disrupt our lives the way that it had. I feel like we all did a really good job in doing what we needed to to keep business going and keep ourselves and our clients safe and yet still be getting the results that everyone had intended. And yet I feel like we, I definitely struggled with um, adapting to this new schedule and this new world at home. For the first time in probably two decades, all of us are having, have been made to live in our houses in a way that none of us have lived in our houses before. And we all had to figure out how to homeschool our kids, work in the same space, play in the same space, learn in the same space, eat in the same space, and still kind of get along. This was unbelievably challenging for me. I felt that I was pulled in a million different directions, um, had still completely unrealistic expectations about what I could get done, um, felt like I was working for two and three minutes at a time while being constantly interrupted, and had zero efficient set up for being able to work from home with three other people living in the same space. I realized that I had resisted the change, even though I had adapted really quickly at work to what this change was going to mean in my home and with my family. And so what's next, right? We still don't know what's next. And I think the worst part of this disruption is we weren't allowed or could not make plans for the future. We were forced to get through the day, sometimes get through the minute or get through the hour and then move on to what we could control and what we could do tomorrow, all the while overcoming challenges every step of the way. I still don't feel like we can make long term plans and I still don't feel like we know what's going to happen in the next 60 days. And yet as Tulsa opens back up for business and as we return to some kind of normalcy after this pandemic and after this disruption, only time will tell how this has truly impacted our community and our families. I know that I'm looking forward to letting go a lot of things that weren't working for me before this pandemic. And unfortunately, it takes really big things, big disruptions, big traumas like this to sometimes shine a light on the things that we really need to let go. I am so looking forward to some kind of freedom, right? Being able to leave our houses, being able to go do things the way that we used to, being able to relive some of the things that we really took for granted. But I also don't think that we should have any expectation around when that should happen. And so I think the healthiest thing for all of us to do is to have zero expectations and every single day focus on making sure that our intentions come to fruition. We are giving an opportunity right now to start over, whatever that looks like for you, and really follow through on our intentions and make sure that we're spending time paying attention to how we feel as we execute on our intentions every single day. I have some news for you. I have a market update because I feel like it's important since real estate is an economic indicator to let you know how the Tulsa market's been doing. March statistics came out last week and week over week since the beginning of April, I have been posting statistics on how real estate is doing uh, in Tulsa. So March statistics look like this. Closing units are down 9.2%. Pending units is down 5.12%. And new listing inventory is still down 3.89%. We have a total monthly supply of inventory of 3.63 months of inventory, which is still unbelievably low. And our average days on market have shrunk March last year over March this year to 41 days. That means it takes an average of 41 days for any home on the market to go under contract, which is still a super aggressive timeline. What I did not realize, and here is the silver lining in all of this, is even though during the onset of this pandemic, our real estate um, statistics shifted down, our prices are up 12 and a quarter percent from the same time last year. That means we are outpacing um, growth in our area, price appreciation by double, right? An average is usually 6%. We're at 12 and a quarter percent in price appreciations. 
That is incredible. I cannot wait to see April numbers because I feel like they're going to be way stronger than this. And despite all of this, it is still an incredible time to sell and an even better opportunity to buy because lending terms are so good right now. I hope this has been helpful and I hope that if you need anything, you know that I'm just a call or a text away. Connect with me on Facebook or Instagram. My number, if you need to text me or want to call me to chat, is 918-282-3451. You can find me all over the internet. So just Google me if there's anything that I can do for you guys or if one of my resources can help you in any way. I cannot wait to visit with you in the next two weeks. I hope that this message is encouraging and that you really take a minute to figure out what your intentions, your daily intentions are and how you can take this opportunity to make a big change in your life. Have a great day and we'll be talking to you soon.